take a look at the tail of tape. Javio Oliveira, 27 years old, five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in tonight, 170 pounds, has a pro record of five wins, one defeat, has a Brazilian jiu-jitsu style, and fights out of the premier gym here in Knoxville, Tennessee. Taking on tonight, Robert Thompson, 28 years old, although there may be some dispute on that age. Robert Thompson, according to the tail of the tape, Robert Thompson, 26 years old, six feet tall, fighting out of Macon, Georgia, with a pro record of five and oh. I saw a fight of Roberts before, uh, just a few weeks ago actually, he had a fight down in New Orleans and he showed tremendous strength, a lot of quickness, great slams, good punching power. Uh, he, got it, he got his opponent stunned, just pounced on his back, tapped him out with a rear naked choke, just like that. Very well-rounded is Robert Thompson. And he's coming off a big win over Thomas Jones at TKO in the third round. He still has power late in the fight, which indicates really good conditioning. This is sure to be a great matchup. And here we go. Fifth bout of the evening at XFC7 School of Hard Knocks. <laughs> and Thompson nods, acknowledging a good kick yep, you by got Oliveira. Me. Got me with that one. And, and that one. And another one. Again, hard to sprawl against that fence. Hard to defend against that takedown. Right, John? Uh, again, you know, when you train against it, and he's spreading his feet pretty well, but still got uh, sucked up and taken down. When you work off the cage, as much as I have with uh, Team Mash up in Detroit, it tends to, uh, tends to make you better. Right now, uh, Raffaello uh, is doing a real good job. He's putting his hooks in, looking to get on his back. Um, he's using a seat belt, which is kind of like holding over the shoulder and then underneath the armpit. It kind of keeps you from falling off. Nice name. <laughs> Makes sense. How, so hard, how hard is it for Robert Thompson to breathe right now? Uh, you know what? It's not a real big deal right now. He's, he's, he's not in that bad of a position. Um, oh, know, he's looking not, to get in there. Really make a choke. Kind of on, but his, his chin's in. Thompson's chin is, is, is in, so yeah, it's he, hard to he, choke. He doesn't have that choke in well. Looks like he's going to try something else. Trying to soften him up with some of those lefts. And the ref's keeping a close eye on the action. Big right hands from Hoppiello. And he's working him up and down, so Thompson's guard only catching about every other punch that Oliveira is throwing. Good tactic, though, for Hoppiello uh, being the shorter man. You know, just hop on his back. Yeah. Start pounding away. And one thing I'm kind of curious about is if that is tiring his legs out, uh, being up on his back like that, having to use his hooks, mm -hmm. you know, wearing his legs out in case they do back to uh, stand up. Uh, if Thompson can weather but the storm. He's doing a phenomenal job, so you can't, you can't hate him for it. John, why, why doesn't Thompson just fall back and and uh, slam Oliveira off him. Uh -oh. it's in a worse, you get in a worse position that way. Um, you'd rather have him slide off the you know, top of your head like he just did, mm -hmm. and you know, press him against the cage like he has him now, and this is, a, you know, again, good position for Thompson. Nice off um, kick. Yeah. Just gotta be careful if he just presses him, gets on his guard, press him against the cage, it's gonna be hard for him to submit. Oh, right through the middle. Oliveira just seems to have such a complete game. He seems like a, a much more thorough fighter than Robert Thompson. Well, he's very calm, too. He's done a lot of fighting in Brazil, so, you know, his, his uh, jiu-jitsu game is really strong. As he goes for the takedown of Thompson and oh, gets it. No, no, slipped out. Good control of one arm. Like I said, I'm, I'm watching this fight real close. This is definitely a prospect for me in the future, so. Which one of these guys would give you more trouble, you think, John? Just just from a little bit we've seen so far. Um, yeah, I've been told so far that uh, Raffaello is supposed to be very good. Um, what I'm seeing from him so far looks nice. Um, you know, my my game is on the ground too. Um, and I, if I remember correctly, he has a black belt uh, in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Mm -hmm. um, yep, he has a black belt, which is which is fine. You know, I only have a purple belt. Uh, eventually, here getting my brown. Um, but, you know, when you get in the cage, you get punched in the face, you know, you might have a black belt, but then all of a sudden it turns into a brown belt. You get hit a couple <laughs> more times, it turns into a purple. <laughs> a few more times, and all of a sudden you become a white belt. So you mm, just no keep working your way down with yep, each punch, Exactly. Huh? Next and thing you know, uh, you're tapping out. When somebody punches me, I tend to get better. I tend to throw submissions on a little bit faster. And, you know, Rafael doing a good job. He's actually He's in the mount going for a like key lock. Uh, oh. Back. Thompson giving his back. Not a good idea. 
Hafiello looking for the rear naked choke. Is it in? No, he's just cranking no. on his face right now. Oh, good job by Thompson. What is Thompson trying to do? He was trying to grab the top of his head and pull him over top of him, um, which was very close to working. Um, I would spin around, take him over to the cage, and do the same thing. It would help him uh, give him some leverage on this uh, position right now. Well, it's, it's hard to see from this angle, but it looks like Oliveira has a – well, he did anyway uh, – had a triangle over uh, Thompson's midsection. Uh, it's body it's triangle. It's a body triangle, exactly. Now he's looking for an armbar right now. And that is a possibility. Oh, Kamara. Oh. Did he tap? Some Hop controversy Hopiello in the cage. Hopiello's yelling that he tapped. I didn't see a tap. I didn't see a tap. Resume position. They're going, they're going on. So he put him in a triangle. Crowd Still doesn't like that. <laughs> Hopiello's Ten seconds. Like can Thompson weather the storm? There's there a tap. Tap, 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 tap. There nice. it is. No controversy on that one. Thompson tapping out with just a few seconds left in the first round. Beautiful show of respect by Hopiello, Tractor, Oliveira. There's and the back flip. There's the back flip. That's what you were waiting I for. I was you waiting for that one. Oh, I'm it. too old for that. <laughs> you could pull that off, champ. Come uh, on. It would be my luck. I'd hurt myself somehow, some way, so. <laughs> Oliveira handing Robert Thompson his first pro loss. Our fifth fight of the evening, Oliveira beating Robert Thompson, making him tap out from an arm bar at the very end of the first round. And we're gonna go up to our ring announcer, Lenny Leonard, for the particulars. Ladies and gentlemen, here's the time, four minutes. 50 seconds of round number one. Your winner, via tap out, Rafaelo Tractor Oliver. 